Ladies and gentlemen, we promised you drama. What about that? Wow. Zirakashvili with the win. Incredible stuff here, as usual, at East versus West 6. We move on to the next of our title matches, and it is in the men's 85 kilogram division. On the right arm, USA versus Georgia once again. Let's introduce you to our athletes right away. Ladies and gentlemen, the first of these men hails from and is representing the United States of America, where he is one of the most decorated U.S. athletes of all time. He is a multiple U.S. national champion and a former WAF champion of the world. Welcome the Fury, Craig Tuhi. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the great state of Louisiana. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy has had a historic career here the last 25 years. Craig Touye, a veteran between 165 pounds all the way up to that 198 pounds. Here recently, got really, really healed up from some long-lasting injuries, expecting a lot from a young Craig Touye. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent is the reigning champion here at East versus West. He hails from the great arm wrestling nation of Georgia, where he is a national champion. This man is also the EAF champion of Europe many times over, as well as a multiple WAF champion of the world. Please welcome David Simbusia. The 30-year-old Georgian there who represented really well, ladies and gentlemen, against Paul Lynn about, I think it was about a month and a half ago. But just remember, Paul Lynn won three to two. Paul Lynn was the bigger man here. This match here set at 187 pounds right in Craig Tuye's wheelhouse. But my goodness, the big, huge problem in the form of David Semusha. All right, here we go to the table. The coin toss will happen. David will call it. Craig Touye and David will switch sides of the table, which means that Craig Touye will get the buckle on his hand in match one. I think that's why we have that coin toss there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Watch the striking quick power from one Craig Touye. David Samushi looking to stop this match. He stops this match in the center of the table, turns it in a hook. You'll see a great surge from Craig Touye, even bone to bone there in the hook however to me it'd be much better for Craig to be quick outside and super aggressive early in this match referee telling Craig to come down just a little bit not don't be surprised here for this to go right into a set grip I imagine both of these guys David not liking the hand and wrist positioning the referee still begging him to start without putting on that set grip. Looks like we're about 40 seconds into it. This will be the last chance. Maybe we can get it started. Go. And right to the straps. Both competitors super high there. Not a really good connection. Every time we're going to go in that strap when you see two guys that high. Open. In the straps, I'm sure David is really hoping that he can bring that back in lat. You can see the shoulder positioning of David Samusha trying to make this match go inside here, get some purchase on that hand, suck in that lat here, and make this thing about a 20-second war in the middle of the table. Don't fight with me. The calm before the storm here, the strap being applied, it looks all good, all strapped up here and ready to go. These gentlemen will still be getting their own grip here. I'm sure the clock is still ticking. We'll see now, you can see now. You can see the wrist curl of David Shamusha here, nice and high. Watch Craig Touye looking for that explosive hit. Watch the elbow of Touye. It does like to move there a lot during the match. 
And there it is. The set grip will be applied, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay. Almost two minutes now in here before the start of the match. The referee really wanting these two guys to negotiate their own grip. All right, here we go. The set grip. Watch for the pronation of David Samusha. Craig Tuye trying to stay up top. There's a lot of movement there by Craig Tuye. Didn't look to me like he liked that connection at all. Definitely that first little almost ready go looked in favor of David Samusha. Here we go, round one. This is the second attempt at a set grip. Watch the quickness of day of Greg Touye. Oh, Craig Touye definitely needs to get that warning there. A lot of movement. Not really liking, not liking the power of David Samusha. This does not look good for Craig Touye at the moment. Here we go, set grip almost being applied. There goes Craig. Not a good start there, Craig holding on. David looking in huge control there at 10 o'clock. Even better hand and wrist pronation. Craig Tuye being stubborn and will get a restart with a foul coming off the front. Craig's elbow coming off the front of the pad. Obviously an attempt to surge back to center. David's elbow coming off the back. Both of these guys will inadvertently foul. There will be no call. Take your risk. Okay. Get out of jail okay. free card there, Travis, for Craig in some respects. He was in all kinds of trouble there. Rist, rist, rist. Craig Tuye definitely needing to change this connection here. Needs some movement inside of that strap. Big hit. Elbow fouls. Tuye. First one was coincidental. That's his first foul. Yeah, Much better start, time. Travis, from Tuye. Yeah. Much better, and that's one thing Craig does possess, even with a lack of hand and wrist control. There is no stopping him from surging sideways. Also, we know he has that double hit capability. If he can stay connected, look for the second drive from Tuye. Quite an unusual back, thing like in his arsenal, back, but believe I'm me, I'm back. it is effective. Looks like he's got a terrible grip there, however. Like this. Yeah, that carving of Sam. I mean, David's got a, a lot of his hand in the strap, looking really, really in control here. At the <laughs> Nothing we didn't really know in that first start. If the wrists are closed and the match goes low, it's all about Samushia. Craig needing to get access to the hand and wrist, or at least access to the A side of the match. Unable to do so at this stage, but much better in the second start. Strap being applied. One inch nylon strap around the wrist, the hands will buckle, pull tight. Nowhere to run. Craig, the Fury 2A. One of the most decorated US arm wrestlers. He faces a multiple WAF world champion in David Samusha of Georgia. Here we go. Center, center, center. Straight. All right, here we go. Craig Tuye once again looking for just a tiny bit of comfort here in this set grip. The other two, it's been obvious that Craig has not been happy. They did close Craig first for the first time there. We'll see if that helps any. Ferocious start from Tuye. Drives to the side, but a level of comfort there in the face of Samusha. And he feels like he's got a lot more arm and clearly has. Craig Tuye hanging on to it there, but Samusha. Obviously feels something he doesn't like in there from Craig because he is rushing a little, but seems to have the best of the lap and finishes to the side. Samusha, first blood, Georgia. And you're going to see, too, Paul Lynn is able to be just a, that, that weight difference against David really showed up. You can see now, David Samusha is a tough out for anybody weighing 185 pounds. He certainly is, mate. And what was really ominous there for Craig Tuye, we just watched that on the replay now, Look how calm David Samusha was off the hit. He then started to work. Little rushes to the side, but it's all about Samusha when that thing turns inside. And the most ominous sign for, for Craig was that he'd hit hard to try and access the hand and wrist, and he didn't come close, Travis. Not close. Yeah, and you see just how, I mean, I think David thought it was going to be easier after he caught that thing. And it just shows you the power that Craig does possess. However, that. The angle and the leverage advantage 
from the from the picture I see, very, very bad start for Craig too. The Georgian must be feeling a ton of confidence. Craig not really sticking on the inside or the outside particularly. He's got that mid-range dragging strength and the violence of his hits. But in this instance, he is staying a little too engaged on the arm and he's dropping into the catching hook of Samushia and there's no lane for him there. He's going to need to change things up dramatically. For Samushia, same soup warmed over. That is exactly where he wants this match. And David absolutely loving the depth in which they're putting the athletes close together. I always try to back that hand up a little bit and make it hand to hand. Once they cross uh, that thumb knuckle, you can, or that thumb, kind of the root of your thumb, you know that any sort of side pressure is going to result in that thing going right inside. And Travis, look at the structure, mate. Just look at the size of the hand and wrist and forearm of David Samushia. This guy is like some kind of missing link. He's got massive structure in the hand and wrist, much bigger than Craig there. Remember, Craig, two year coming from a lower weight class. A little bit better there, but to be honest, I think that's just David looking for the strap. Yeah, nice little false start there from Craig there to get a little separation in there, but definitely what he's looking for. Let's see if he can just... He somehow, even in the strap, as they set it up, you need to give you a little room in there so there is some violent hit that can change the connection even in the strap you get the you get the strap set up palm to palm they tighten that thing too tight there's too much of a connection and there's absolutely nowhere to go and because of craig's affinity to the halfway house that dragging hook technique where he's trying to apply the back pressure but he drags straight for the pad it's really giving david all the access he needs to his lane he needs to get far further around see the back of his hand, open the hand of Samushia, make him work. Don't hit for the pad, hit for position. And this is the best Craig can hope for. The buckle is on David's, the back of his hand. You can see him trying to alter the strap just a little bit. Hopefully there's a connection problem here for David. And we can see a surge, a ton of offense from the American. You can see how confident David Samushia is also in here because look the depth he's feeding into Craig. Knowing that Craig's as fast as he is, as aggressive as he is, he's still prepared to feed himself forward and go for the catch. Craig trying to get away with everything there. God bless him. He's going to throw the kitchen. Look at Samushia. Confident, comfortable. Craig already extended on the lat and Samushia smoothly to the side. Little movements there from Craig, but he's got nothing really there. He's all defense at this stage. We've got an elbow foul maybe on Craig, yep. Elbow foul, but on in a sign, Travis. Nothing there, ah. nothing there at the moment for Craig. The lane is not working. Not even nothing there, like ah. a super dominant performance. You can just see the, the connection with David. The hand, the hand looks just absolutely huge, dominant uh, around there. We, we've already been in the set grip. It didn't work. We started out of the set grip with them negotiating their own grip. Yeah. And it was the same old thing, a great wrist curl. And then you see no, no chance of David being in, There's no problem with him getting pinned. He doesn't feel that Craig has that ability. The only thing that David's shaking or checking is how quickly that he's going to try to end the match because Craig does get stubborn right there around that. Couldn't you know, agree more, mate. Hard. I mean, we've seen that fatigue is a thing. Uh, I actually caught up with John briefly, that's not for now, but fatigue is a thing up there. And Craig Touye, he's got a sticking spot at the base, but he was in defensive mode from the get-go. <laughs> David Samushia, what we're learning as this match progresses is that stylistically, Craig's attacking line, his primary line, is very, very well suited for, for, for David Samushia. Samushia is just dropping in there, he's comfortable, and there's a look of serenity on his face. He's like he's at the yacht club. Yeah, there's no doubt. The setup indicates that they're gonna, he's going to risk curl right at the beginning. There's no stopping it. Um, super sad for Craig, but you're just hoping that Craig somehow. But you can even see there's, there's absolutely no pressure on the outside of those fingertips. This thing's going in a, it, this, this thing's going in a hook right away. Yes, don't move. Craig trying to pull that low hand a little bit. Actually outran himself a little there and Samushia was able to slingshot him, drops in there again, Craig dips for the pad but no change and you can see the contrasting face of these athletes, Craig Touye redlining, shaking, driving as he attacks for the pad, you look on the opposite side of the table and it's a serene calm face on David Samusha. 
And you think about how calm his face is, yet that was the best go, the best start for Craig. The match, I mean, Craig's tight right there. That's a beautiful situation. Elbow coming off the back a little bit. I'm not sure how many times Greg will, Greg will be lucky to get in that position again, especially about to switch sides of the table. He's going to have that, that buckle on his side. It's definitely a dominating performance here from David. Now, Travis, this is it. Last chance saloon for Craig Touye. Uh, if you were down there advising this guy, w what can he do? Is there anything in his arsenal that he can pull out at this stage and ch change this thing around? I can't imagine that there's a technique that you could tell him. I think what you have to do is just check his manhood. You look at him right in the face and say, Greg, listen, you are in a 100% devastating situation here. The only way to get out of it is to go absolutely crazy, just like the match before, and show us something that we didn't think you had. Which is what a that can be. And now we have Craig is in the same position. Also, too, two or three matches earlier, we saw the bicep tendon. Is that how far out of this match is Craig Touye, and how smart would it be to make sure that he left Istanbul with uh, fully attached in all his ligaments and, and shoulder and elbow area? Well, it's interesting because we talked a moment about the tales of the unexpected and how devastating it can be out there. Well, right now, David Samushia has got into that rhythm. He knows where the pressure's coming. He knows what to expect from, from Craig Touye. Craig Touye, if he can change things up enough, and can make this thing exciting by maybe diving straight side, straight inside. We know he's got that. It's not his lane, but he's kind of got nothing to lose right now. He's been dominated in the position that he favors most. Yeah, Desperate he times. That, he needs that hard 10 o'clock hit, a slight little reboot, and then another devastating hit. But it's going to be, it's one of those things, like he needs to go ahead and throw some reverses, some trick plays. Whatever you got in that bag of tricks, right now is the time. Now to show is us. the time. And come off the man, come off the hour. Craig Touye, what have you got? Look at Samushia selling it all forward, driving that lower palm forward, that lower knuckle forward. And Touye eager to get away but it doesn't look like he's changing his position at all looks yeah. like he's going for more of the same Craig drive there we go he's a little bit outside that wrist a little bit i like it i think it was an elbow foul mate fair every credit to craig he committed very hard there the guy went to the bank but ran out of pad served one into the net this is it Craig Touye going to look at this match here in the upcoming days and he's going to see that, you know, he's an inch and a half from pinning this guy the last two starts. That's a pretty solid, because listen, David absolutely <laughs> overwhelming here today. Hand and wrist looking super solid. And listen, Craig Touye's intentions was to bend this guy's wrist back. He has done nothing except go right into a beautiful wrist curl after every start. The good thing is Craig still has side pressure even without the greatest connection here, but I feel like the time's running out there for Mr. Touye. Well, you've got to remember, Craig Touye is a guy that came from sort of the 47s, 54s. That was his area. 147 pounds, 65 kilos, 70 kilos. That was his stomping ground. He's packed muscle onto the frame. He's matured, he's thickened. David Samusha is a guy who trains down to this weight and he has an enormous frame. Very big hands, very big wrist, thick structural arm wrestler. Wrestles with that structure, with sinew, with tendon, and he's prepared to sell it into the match. And he has a, a maturity in his arm wrestling, a confidence, an innate confidence. He trusts in his power. And usually, it does deliver. Craig Touye needs to be inventive now. And as you said earlier, Travis, he's shown no signs of being able to take the hand and wrist. And again, Samushia just powering that lower palm forward into the match. The little finger knuckle couldn't be any deeper. It's almost on the microphone of Touye. Craig down to his final start here, has a, has a foul. We can see the second surge has created his elbow to come off the back. Let's see if he can make an adjustment here. Come on, Craig Touye, we're all rooting for you. So a little, little early there, be ready. Touye will look to go to the bank on this one. It's everything right now, right here. And Samushia looks calm, looks collected. Go. Big hit, enormous drive. And for the first time, Samushia's face, a little yes. bit awake there. A show. I think it's going to be another foul. Second elbow foul. 
David Samusha with the win. Cruel way to see that one. Disappointing way to see that one finish, but writing was on the wall, I do believe, Travis. Not only that, you think about the adjustments made by East First West with the bigger elbow pads, so you have to know that that Craig had every advantage that you could get with his as much, you know, size in that elbow on that elbow pad, but what a shame here. Craig Tuye, a super strong American here, comes to Istanbul, comes up a little short. The Georgians, that's two in a row here, looking pretty strong against the Americans. You see there, the finals there. We'll have Artem here in a minute to see exactly what David thought of that big win here. Once again, Craig Tuye, a huge surge. That's three starts with Craig being over there, 9, 10 o'clock, just not quite having enough. And even that elbow foul there, a little touchy on that one. The last one, definitely a good call. Probably could have got away with one of those in round two. However, the quality of the refing here is absolutely perfect here. All trained master WAL, WAF referees. And these guys have really, really done a great job so far. Ladies and gentlemen, let's raise the roof and rip it up for our new, or I should say still, champion of the world. He hails from Georgia. Dumping Samusha! All right, David, congratulations on your final defense, the third time. How does it make you feel to be able to keep that shield and the helmet? Zalian ga khare buli varda. Mero gor chuti pirveli Adam yani var vits am tonirshi am ti tulis phobeli yaris khoda. Zalian didi pati viya khoda so sulab gamar jobas. Zalian ga khare buli var brod. Zalian didi pati vits ema chains motsi na kudres Craig Douglas. Martha Zalian, Slyri Sportsmania, Didi Zala Magnobina, Madluba Ola Pestus. So he said that he, this is a huge honor for him and huge achievement as it, as it is now. It's his permanent trophy at uh, East versus West. And he also said that if I'm sure I'm the first guy in the entire tournament that uh, wields this trophy forever so obviously he's true he's correct and then he also said that Craig you are the warrior you uh, David said that uh, you are the worthy opponent you are toughest opponent and he said that uh, in future he wishes the best of luck in your career we wish uh, he wishes to see you again and also he's very happy that he managed to uh, beat you and you are the final boss challenge for him to get this permanent Great, thank you, David. Congratulations one more time. Great performance today. Good luck in your next matches. Thank you, sir. One more time, work for the